I put 100 players in a Minecraft war zone and split them into three teams with access to guns, explosives, and so much more to see which team would be able to ambush their enemies' bases and execute the perfect attacks to take them down and steal their flag to be the last team standing. As all 100 players spawned in, they each spawned next to a team barracks that was filled with loot for them to start sharing between their team. There's, there's guns and ammo in here, okay, that's great. First off was the Spetnaz team. Led by me, we spawned at the bottom of a mountain and spotted the tents, filled with loot straight away, so ran inside and grabbed everything we could. Next was the Spec Ops team. These soldiers spawned all the way on the other side of the desert and followed a very similar start to the Spetnaz team by rushing into the tents and gathering as many weapons as they could. Whilst they stood in their groups checking out their new guns, one of their players spotted a tower in the near distance that he couldn't resist checking out. Sadly for him, this place was guarded by bandits a hostile NPC that kills anyone that comes near it, and he quickly found that out after he approached their tower, resulting in the first death of the server. Did someone just shoot? Aspects died, what the hell? No, 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 guys, guys, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. I died. There's a bandit, it's a bandit, it's a bandit. There was just a weird guy, I don't know. Okay, I killed him, it's okay. Rob the corpse. <laughs> After carefully taking down the bandits outside, they were able to go up the tower and take the loot inside, which included an assault rifle and some more ammo. What's up it? Oh, an M4. Okay, awesome. Wait, we're geared up, we're getting geared up, guys. Police. And finally was the SWAT team. These guys took an interesting approach to sharing out their loot, as their leader invited the players one by one into the tents to make sure the loot was being shared out equally. But this plan didn't work out super well when some players just started taking more than they were supposed to. Don't Take one gun and three clips of ammo. Herm, if you have more than three clips of ammo, I'm going to kill you, you right here now. Do not Stop going through the chest. Get out. Go. Out. Out. Whilst the SWAT team wasted time doing this, it gave the other teams a huge advantage since they were able to spend the same time gathering resources and starting to expand their farms to feed their team. The Spetnaz team sent players underground almost instantly to start getting cobblestone so we could build up a wall around the tents after deciding that we were going to live here. So where are we placing camp? Alright, let's just set camp at uh, the tents. Yeah, I'm, I'm doing this. I'm setting up a little farm here. And after the Spec Ops had finished looting their tower, they also made the choice to start setting up a more permanent base at the tents. We need food though, so we, we need to set up a farm or, uh, or stop breeding. I'm heading back to the original camp. Yeah, let's, he let's head back to the, um, do you want to make our base location. at the original camp? So as these two teams got right to work building up their bases, the SWAT team were falling behind as they continued to slowly share out their armor and weapons amongst the team. For us on the Spetnaz team, this was great. After only 20 minutes, we had a fully functioning farm and had built up our walls all the way around this area, claiming our HQ way before any other team, allowing us to already start sending a group of players out into the wild in the hopes of finding some structures to loot or even an enemy base. All right, yeah, we've got we've got a few people here. I think this should be enough. Not, not everybody needs to come out, so we're not launching an attack right now. We're just going out to scout, so a few of you guys stay back. As we headed away from the base and started exploring the wilderness, we crossed over into the desert and then were told by a few runaway players from the start that they had found a huge city. Hey, uh, I found an enchantment table. Oh, where are oh. you? I'm in some skyscrapers and I have like almost 45 books. So instead of wasting time scanning the desert, we started heading over to meet up with our teammates. Bro, oh, I think I see the skyscrapers that you guys are talking about. I Gordon's. headed east. East? Okay, no, I think these are the ones then, yeah. But as we approached these buildings, things quickly took a turn. I don't see you though. Heard me there for a second. Wait, Is I see someone. Is it a blue gas? You see someone? Oh, oh. Wait, someone just died. Did you see someone? Someone just died in chat. I'm pretty sure we heard that. When we arrived, one of the Spec Ops players that had left their team behind as they started working on building up their own base had also arrived here at this city, but was quickly dealt with by the bandits inside after grabbing some loot. Unsure if he was the only one here, our team had to be really careful from now on. As we slowly approached the entrance to this tower, over at the SWAT camp, they still hadn't even finished out giving their loot from the start. All right, grab the armor from these three chests, one one piece each. Someone yeah, died to a bandit already, nerd. So whilst they were laughing at other teams that were dying to bandits, they had no idea how far behind in progress they really were, since the Spetnaz and the Spec Ops team had both now finished their HQs before the SWAT team had even finished giving out all of their loot. But back at the city, they weren't our issue right now, because we had spotted two players lurking near one of the buildings and had to be really careful. 
I don't need to wait for those other two people. Right, let's I crawl mean, a little bit closer from around here, guys. We, we have the guns, we have the mags, we can... We can yeah, but if Dave's got the guns as well... There's an NPC right around here. Oh, oh! oh, oh. Who's shooting? As we took cover from the gunshots, it quickly clicked that the players we were hiding from and were about to attack were our teammates that were here first. Wait, who's inside of the building? Yeah, who's, who keeps speaking? Oh, never mind. Me and Hobo. Hobo, right, okay, so there's two of you. Wait, do you have a cape by any chance? I have a cape. Too. Oh, okay, that was you yeah, two the then. That was you guys. Transfer. All right. Oh, that's you guys. Wait, yeah. There's guns and ammo here if you want. You gave me a heart attack there, the yeah. guy the table. As we grouped up and figured out our plan moving forward, we found out that these guys had barely even looted this place. So we continued searching the buildings as a team. Invader. Oh, oh, oh the invader, you scared the life out of me. Hands up, bro. Put your hands up. I needed, I nearly let a mag out. Yes, right yeah. Now. We took on floor by floor and continued to find bundles of loot, and even the dead body of the Spec Ops player that had died here minutes earlier. Yeah, this level's got it here. Oh, oh, did you have any loot? Oh, I'll yeah, take, oh, some. ammo clip, I'll take that. So after taking everything valuable we could from his corpse, we continued our search through these buildings. Oh, I'm getting shot, I think. Oh, bullets are flying by me, someone's shooting me. I'm near dead here. Right, just box up, box up and eat. Feed. Watch out. I need help here. I have no. I don't think I have blocks. Where are you? I oh, just know I got shot. Oh, I see a gun I, floating I just, upstairs. I just shot some NPCs oh. in the building. Box. Okay, I'm gonna go up another level in the skyscraper. Yeah. I've already went up. Oh, I'm God. going up as well. Oh, bandit. Where? Oh, oh, get, get down. Watch, watch out, watch out. He's dead. Yeah. Okay. Whew. Back over at the Spec Ops HQ, they had finished building up their base. Wait. Nope. Not, not that one. This one. And with that complete, they started to throw a group of scouts together to send out and explore the world after their member told them earlier that he had died in the city. And of course, that was the same city that we were inside of. We should probably start like exploring about a little bit as well. Let's have a look around. Yeah, why not? I don't know where any of the other bases are, but we're just gonna head this way and see what's going on. As we had no idea that a few enemies were heading this way, we carried on searching and gathering as much loot from this place as possible. Okay, what loot have we got from this place up to now? Oh, yeah, an RPG. An up, an up. Oh, okay, nice. With four rockets. That is so. good. After making it all the way to the top of the towers, luckily, we didn't lose any players to the bandits inside of here. And now we had an incredible view of the surrounding areas. Although we probably shouldn't have been trusted up here. Why am I tempted to try and make a jump into that water? Yeah, I don't know why, but it's so tempting to just jump off. I know. <laughs> it's not a good... Not a good thing. I got sweaty palms right now. I'm going to fall off by accident. Instead of jumping off this tower, we decided to make our way down the ladder safely. But on the way down, something very unexpected happened. Drop off oh, Knight was pummeled by Soccer. So Soccer's doing oh. some sort of invasion, I think. Or is that not his teammate? I thought. Oh. Is he shooting his teammate? Trigger. It turns out, yeah, that was his teammate. After the SWAT team had finally finished sharing out all of their loot, their leader went out exploring alone and came across a massive bandit facility in the middle of a forest. I think I found a bandit camp. What is in the bandit camps? Bandits? Even though he didn't seem overly happy with this find, this place had factories, barracks, and huge vaults filled with loot. And this was all protected by the bandits that were roaming this area ready to kill anyone that tried to steal their loot. Luckily, Sokka was smart and made sure to approach this place carefully, taking out all the threats in his way without dying. That was before he killed his teammate, though. Oh, shiz, there's a guy here. Someone Ooh, else found this uh, camp with what? me. Kill them. Yeah, okay. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna try. Oh, guys. He walked in and took shots at the player inside, killing them on the spot, not realizing that this was his teammate. So after he continued to search this place normally for a few minutes, that was when it clicked that the player he killed was on his own team. Oh, that guy's on our team. He's not in the voice chat. I am in the voice chat. Oh my god. Oh, why, didn't you you me? why didn't you say anything? I didn't know you were there. With the SWAT team now down a player as well, Sokka was starting to look like a not so good leader in front of his members. So started playing the guilt card to avoid being overthrown by his team. Man, that poor guy got killed. I'm sorry. Yeah, you absolutely pummeled him into the ground. <laughs> I didn't mean to. I, did, I thought he was an enemy. I don't blame you. I would have done the exact same thing. <laughs> With it seeming pretty clear that they actually didn't care about him killing their teammate, he continued to loot through this facility, grabbing everything he could. But eventually, after being surrounded by bandits from every angle, Sokka knew it wasn't a good idea to fight them all and risk dying this early on, so decided to leave and start heading back towards the rest of his team. Back at the city, we had finally made our way back to the bottom of the tower and were starting to leave. 
just as the Spec Ops players were starting to arrive. Luckily for us, we got out of there at the perfect time and completely avoided being seen and were able to leave with all of the loot that we got from this place. Okay, be careful because there yeah. might it, it might be there might be loot here, but there also might be people because that is a huge yeah. building. Keep an eye out. We might end up in a fight here, guys. Just be careful. Yeah, we might. Since we were long gone, the Spec Ops soldiers searched through these buildings and found nothing apart from the remains of their player that died earlier on. Oh, I found his body. He, I found his body. I found his body. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got him. I got him. I got him. I'm pretty sure Reese is around here somewhere. Remember, there's four of us and we've got some of the best guns on the team here. We should be okay. And as we arrived back at the base, this scout mission had been a huge success. And now we were able to share out the loot between our teammates that had stayed back home, helping gather resources and farm food for us soldiers that had headed out. Before we continue, have you ever wanted to host your own Minecraft Civilization event? Well, if you have, check out the link in the description to MC Pro Hosting, where you can use code SWORDFUL1000 for 20% off any server plan. So you could host this exact event with your friends if you want to. Now back to the video. Way over on the other side of the world, the SWAT team had finally started making some progress, as they had built a base on top of a mountain that overlooked the entire surrounding area, and now were actually starting to look like they were interested in winning this event. And with all three teams having their flags placed down in their bases, the games had officially begun. The first team now to hold all three flags or kill every enemy would be the winner. And over at the Spetnaz team, we felt confident that we could make that happen. So with no time being wasted, we assembled a team of 15 soldiers to send out to try and find and attack an enemy base, leaving half of our team back at the base to defend our own flag. Is this an attacking force or just a scouting force? Um, it, it's scouting at the moment, but it could turn into attacking if we see the right yeah, opportunity. As we made our way away from the base and back through the desert, it seemed we had been spotted by a rogue spec ops soldier that was roaming through the desert too. Looking chat, there's an enemy. Desert. desert. Wait, what? who's... Where? Wait, wait, wait. Okay, just look out for somebody else. Make sure there's nobody else here. We had no idea where this guy was or if he was all alone. So we had to be on edge from now on. But we just continued traveling through the desert searching for bases. And just as we spotted the tower in the distance that was right next to the Spec Ops HQ, one of our members alerted us to the enemy. Wait, 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 players, players, players. Where? Where, where, where? They're this in way. the desert, in the desert. Yeah, okay. I see him, I let's see him. Check it out. Let's go check yeah. Let's go. Yeah. Should we follow them? Yeah, yes, of course. Yeah, right, okay. I can see him, by the way. Yeah, up ahead. I see him, I see him. I don't see him. Oh, I do see him, I do see him, I do see him. It's just running up ahead. Wait, don't, don't shoot yet, don't shoot yet. Don't let him know that we're coming up behind him. I'm gonna go up. Tell me when to shoot. See if we can get a little bit closer first before we start shooting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, I'll take him, I'll take it. Here he is. Did we get him? Yeah, we got him, we got him, we got him, we got him. Nice. Okay. Uh, he had an ammo, he had an AK. Oh, somebody want that AK? You can have that with the ammo clip. Oh, there's someone to the left there. There's someone to the left. Who's that? Oh, that's Angel. Okay. Oh. With another Spec Ops player dead, they were now down to 28 players in total after a pretty rough start with the bandits and losing a member to us. And with us having a clue as to where their base direction now was after following their member for a while, we kept moving to see if we could find it. That's an NPC tower. Is there any NPCs oh, in it? Wall. Wall. A wall? Where? where? North. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Is oh, yeah. Okay. oh, yeah. Right, wait. That's um, One second. L lie down and here. go through the trees, see if we can spot Yo, you. I'm gonna you, take you, advantage you. point in the tower. After making our way out of the desert back towards the tower we spotted earlier, the Spec Ops base was in sight. But with people on guard, it was not going to be easy to attack this place. So we had to be stealthy. Guys, we got um, someone scouting southwest of our base. Five, six. Oh Jesus, we should probably head Is there back. a lot of them there? Okay, yeah, we should head back. We should head back. They are yeah, crawling. They, they are yeah, I see them. They're the watching us. They're the definitely crawling, so we've Stay been spotted. Um, but which team is it? Can you see the armor? Yeah, no, should, I think that's Spec Ops. We should watch our backs as well. Yeah, yeah. Somebody just keep an eye on the back. I'm trying to spot the armor here. The Spec Ops guards at the base alerted their scouts at the city to the attack, and they started to leave and head back through the desert to sneak behind us and try to kill us. But as we started moving closer to the base, thinking we hadn't been seen, we were about to be in a really rough position. Should we shoot back? Or? Yeah, yeah, shoot back if you can try and kill one. Oh! Oh God! Jesus! Nice. Oh, I'm getting hit! I'm getting hit! Not going to do this. Yeah. We just leave. Yeah, yeah. We fall back, fall back. Get inside of this tower that we took over. Let's see if we can camp up here for a minute and see if they like try and ahead. charge us. They know we're here, Angel. As we took cover in the tower, the other half of the Spec Ops team had arrived, and now we were trapped inside of this place, surrounded by enemies. Okay, okay, crouch from here, crouch from here. 
Oh, I'm getting shot at. Behind us, behind us. Behind us? Right, I'm up the behind tower. The tower. Behind, behind us. Oh, yeah, I see, I see. Oh, it's framed. Where? It's the rest of the team. It's Where? the rest of their team. One person good iron, one person good iron. There's, there's like three people no, no, down no, there. I'll RPG, I'll RPG. I'm getting shot, guys. I'm getting shot again. Get in the tower oh, if you can. I died. No. Oh, really hard. You one shot me. They're in the tower. My, my, my gun's not outside. working. Push up a little bit, bro. Come on. Guys, we're still getting shot at. We need to get out of here. Yeah, I agree, but where the hell do we go? Oh, they're coming over. They're coming over. Watch out, watch out, watch out. Watch the door. I've just seen him run. Yeah, there he is. I see him. Oh, they've, they've all run. It's out of of us. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. I think I got one. I got Yeah, I got one. I got lazy. I got lazy. Right. Guys, I'm getting surrounded by everyone here. Somehow, after killing everyone that tried to flank us, the back of the tower was now clear, and we knew that if we stayed, they would just keep sending soldiers out to try and kill us from their base, less than 100 blocks away. So we took our chance to escape and ran. Okay, thank you. Right, no worries. Right, let's go. Let's get out of here. Oh man, that was insane. That was crazy. Oh, there. I don't know how, bro. We were surrounded by everyone. Who was the Who was the traitor that killed our own man? Listen, I have an explanation. So, as Sniffu tried to explain his innocence on the way back home, he started to feel really guilty for the friendly fire accident that happened at the tower. It's can right. we please do a funeral for him? Yeah, we yeah. can do a funeral. We'll get, we'll get back. So as we arrived back home, we started to explain everything that happened in the ambush, and our team quickly caught on to our lies. Not much either. Hey, guys. Um, uh, the base we, is finished. The base is finished. We lost a man. Um, the enemy... Was it Kane? The enemy, yeah, Kane. The enemy Rest took him peace. out. So... Um, yeah, we, we're down one man, but we know where our base is, so... We should do a funeral. Yeah, we should, because... Uh... Uh, our fallen men killed their right, leader. Uh, did, didn't the guy that died get killed by a sniffer? Uh... No. Oh, yeah. Yeah. A, yeah. A, a sniff. Okay, sniffer right, we'll come cool. clean. Sniffo made an accidental shoot. Yeah, I know, I know. Yeah, I can explain myself. During this entire time, the SWAT team had been trying to catch up with their progress after a slow start, and eventually after some mining and planning, they were back on track. Well, that was at least until the next phase started. The invasion phase. Each base was now under attack from a troop of bandits, meaning if anybody wanted to leave their base, they'd have to kill the bandits patrolling the outside of their walls first. For the SWAT team, this ended horribly after a load of their team jumped out of the walls in the attempt to take down the bandits, not realizing their true power. Oh, bandits, 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 bandits! Where? Oh, where, where? Oh, oh, me. oh, oh outside. Where don't go out there, don't go out there, don't go out there. Are you guys at the police? Oh, oh, it's oh just my gosh, I'm at one heart. <laughs> guys, don't go out there. I said don't go I out there. Why did you all go out there? I died. No. You guys! What just happened? I, I everyone you behind. guys ran into the bandits. Don't run into the bandits. Jesus <laughs> Christ, fellas. Tell me. We had four so people you walk out and die. Running. Okay, we lost five Someone's people. Well, yeah, we lost, lost six like, people. Never grave. mind. We lost six people. I need bandits. a mass graveyard. Like, Jesus. Yeah, dude. I said don't go out there, and I watched everyone yeah, I walk heard outside you. I know. the walls. And oh, my God. How the f*** did I, that happen? You... After six members were destroyed outside of their own base, the SWAT team were now down to 24 players, making them the joint most smallest team on the entire server with the Spec Ops, who were also now under a bandit invasion. I'm here no. to punch a gunshots. Yeah, it's all bandits. I don't know why there are so many right here. Oh, yeah, I, I see them. I just died. I just got shot by five bandits outside the walls. After a quick and somewhat harmless invasion, the Spec Ops luckily only lost one member after they took care of the threats carefully. And finally was the Spetnaz team that found out the hard way that they were under an invasion. Jeez, okay. I'm burning down now. Oh, who's shooting? Who's shooting? The bandits! I'm dead! No! Where? Oh. Luckily for us, that was our only casualty, as the rest of the members played it safe and took down the invasion from behind our walls. Oh, there's a lot of bandits here. Yeah, I'm trying to kill it. There's quite a few bandits down there, by the way. Yeah, the... Like, they're dead, I think. During the chaos of the bandit invasion, Sniffu had been building a grave for Kane after the guilt from accidentally killing him earlier was still getting to him. I want to say some words. Today, we, re we pay respect to our fallen hero, Kane, the man who killed the enemy team leader. We shall all pay respects 
in our salute. Rest in peace, Kane. As we all paid respects to our fallen hero, Kane, and the funeral came to an end, over at the SWAT team, they had started to realize how far behind they still were. And after seeing so much action go down in chat, they wanted to get involved. All right, these guys, you're all coming with me. Everyone else, stay here. We're going I on a scouting mission. Yay! JJQ, you're in charge of protecting our flag. Don't let it get taken. Oh my, no, Sokka, you did too much dress. As they started making their way through the wilderness, a member of their team called Kermit Crab decided this was the perfect time to make a speech in a Kermit the Frog voice. Enemy soldiers. Yes, give us an inspirational speech, Kermit. Yeah. My men. My friends, my fellow soldiers, we may have lost six men in the battle. Get this might cut out, but let's go, Kermit! <laughs> <laughs> I don't really know what this guy was. I don't, yeah, I, I'm gonna leave it to it. But clearly, this speech worked, since not long after, the SWAT team could see the city in the distance. Bro, there's a city right there. <gasps> Bro, what is that? It's a city! <laughs> Alright, boys, new stop. We're looting. As they approached, this city should have been empty, since all of the Spec Ops players were back at their base preparing to launch an attack, and all of the Spetnaz players were back at their base still taking part in a funeral for Kane. Apart from one player. Just before the funeral, one of our soldiers called Angel decided he'd had enough of the chaos going on in our base. Oh, who's that? Oh, Angel, where are you going? Where Away you from going all that hecticness. <laughs> You've had enough. How much you need? I'm for a I little need... walk. walk <laughs> And on his journey, he decided to walk all alone towards the city that we'd been to earlier, which was exactly where the SWAT players were. Don't even break that. Guy there, guy oh. there. Kill him. Got him. Kill him. Kill him. Chase him down. Yes, we can. I've been attacked. What? Where? Where? At the skyscraper. What? Why are you there? Right, okay, guys, follow it's me. I like got bored and I'm running around. Yeah, me too, me too. Got him. Nice, yeah, okay, nice. Well done. Oh! No, Dude, he had so much three. stuff. Take this, take this, take this. There's blocks of gunpowder here. I need, I need take his this. gun, take his gun. Wait, did yeah. Angel die? Yeah, Angel died. With one of our members dead, and with a full squad of soldiers ready to head out at any moment, we wasted no time and instantly left the base and made our way over towards the city to try and get revenge for Angel. And it seemed the SWAT team were expecting it, as they all took cover waiting for us to show up. So as we arrived at the city, it was time for battle. Oh no, there is there is people, there is people, I saw one. Yeah, yeah. Right, watch out. Yeah, be careful. Oh, I got the sniper. There's a darker armor. Yeah, yeah, I see them. Right, shoot, if you can. Take try to take some shots. I'm being hit, being hit, being hit! Being hit, being hit. Careful, careful, run, their team is run, here. Run, 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 run. Oh, invaded, dead, you got one, dead, one. you got one, one. nice. Alright, I buried the dead. Uh, got one. I'm sending an RPG in. Someone has a rocket launcher that they're shooting at me. Right, okay, I'm gonna flank left around this building. Another one. Nice. Damn, we lose. Just run, just run, boys. I don't know why Sword's entire team is here, but. Frick that guy. I'm uh, I am running for my life right now, guys. <laughs> oh, there's one here. There's someone. I see, I see him, I see him. Oh, I'm chasing one here. I see him. After an incredible ambush, we had killed almost their entire scout force, and now the chase for the remaining players was on as they ran into the wilderness to escape. Oh, I see him, I see him. He's down there, he's down there. Uh, keep going east. Oh, I'm getting shot, I'm getting shot, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. Wait, are you sure you guys weren't shooting me? Yes, yes, yeah, Sniffo no. was shot. Yeah, Sniffo shot didn't. you. Sniffo, no, stop trying to kill our own them. team. There's someone behind those trees. Come yeah, that's on. who I was chasing, but then you no. started shooting at me, so now I lost him. Yeah, oh! Oh. <laughs> oh my god, bro, I nearly died. Eventually, both of the remaining SWAT members were able to escape, leading us to turn back. But after running for only a few minutes, a broadcast was put in chat, alerting the entire server to a supply drop. Since we were already far from home, we saw a perfect opportunity to try and grab this before any other team. And luckily, as we made our way over towards it, we could see that it hadn't been looted yet. So made our way up and were gifted even more guns and a bunch of ammo. But instead of just heading back home after looting the supply drop, we came up with a new plan to camp this place and wait for enemies to come towards it for the supplies, and then just kill them as soon as they arrived. And after some waiting, it worked perfectly, as one of our soldiers spotted a Spec Ops player hiding underground after he had realized that the supply drop was surrounded by our players. So after he was killed, we decided to start heading home since we knew that the Spec Ops team would have been told straight away as soon as he spotted us. Over at their HQ, they were starting to come up with a very, very odd strategy. We can either stay here or strike back. 
after we get a little bit more prepared, we should probably try and go for an assault. I feel like if we go out, we're going to die. If we go How in a group, guys... we could do like one nice attack. Hopefully destroy someone. Somehow, the Spec Ops thought it was a good idea to completely abandon their base, leaving their flag behind with no guards to send out a search party to try and find the Specnaz base. Let's see if anybody's ballsy enough to go to an empty base. Here, here. If we see someone, we'll just kill them. Oh yes, 100%. They actually did it. They took their entire team out on an adventure, leaving their whole base and flag unprotected, officially making probably the worst decision one of my events has ever seen. So as they started making their way through the desert, of course, one of the SWAT members that had survived the Spetnaz ambush at the city stumbled across the base, not even two minutes after they left, and was now able to just mine through their walls and steal their flag with no attack. Wait, you got the flag? I found a flag of Spec Ops. You got it? Uh, great, great, great. Oh, take it back to base. Go, 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 go. <laughs> if I can get swords, we win. Go, run. This lone SWAT member wasn't the only person that was going to be visiting the Spec Ops HQ, though, as we, the Spetnaz team, decided to stop off there on our way home from the supply drop to see if anything had changed. Once we arrived, we realized this place was also a ghost town as we walked straight up to the walls and made our way in without being shot at by any enemies. With all of the crops overgrown and no flag, we realized we were too late to whatever had happened here, which was actually nothing. No fight, no war. The Spec Ops had just made a huge mistake in abandoning their base, allowing the SWAT soldiers to just walk away with their flag without the Spec Ops even knowing. After realizing a lot of the Spec Ops were still alive, we instantly thought that they were probably out plotting an attack against our team. So we quickly left this base and started heading home. But of course, that was never going to be a simple trip. This guy, this guy, over here. At the base? No, it's right here. In those trees. No, if he's got that way. Oh. Uh, Raid master? You got him? Where was it? Oh, he's here. I've got Ooh, a, a frag nice. grenade, but I don't think it does block damage. Wait, let me test I it. No, it, it just does. Oh. Oh my god. <laughs> what? <laughs> Somehow, when I pulled the pin in the grenade, it exploded instantly, accidentally killing five of the Spetnaz members, leaving only three members of our entire scouting team left alive. And things were about to get even worse for them, as the Spec Ops soldiers that were out had heard the explosion from the grenade and started moving in on the remaining members. There, there's like a wall team. I'm, I'm being down. Just go down. I cannot take this. Yeah, there, yeah there's, like, there's like five of them right above me. At this point, the Spec Ops had no idea how close they really were to the Spetnaz HQ. And they even perfectly predicted exactly what happened. In the video, it's going to be like, hey, uh, these guys, they've been walking for most of the game. They walked past two bases. <laughs> yeah, probably. Like, so after stealing everything from our dead bodies and doing some really disrespectful stuff. Why is some guy making out Reese's body? <laughs> they continued their search for the Spetnaz HQ, which didn't take long because as soon as they went over the hill right next to them, the Spetnaz HQ was in sight. Unfortunately for them though, they weren't the first ones to find this base. After the battle at the city earlier on between the SWAT and the Spetnaz team, Soccer51x, the leader of the SWAT team, ran away and decided to solo this victory in honor of the teammates that he lost at the city. It looks like they came from one direction, so I'm actually going to go towards the direction that they came from. I'm going to see if I can go sneak around. I'm trying to find Swords base while well, his entire team is elsewhere. I ha There's no way their base isn't this direction. Dude, I'm so scared that I'm going to accidentally run into Swords entire team again. Like, I, I'm off here by myself, guys. It's freaking scary. And after a long, long search, he finally came across what he had been looking for. There is an entire forest on fire. Wait, I see a base. I found their base. Now the Spetnaz HQ was surrounded by the Spec Ops in one direction and had the SWAT team leader on the other side waiting for the perfect time to strike all on his own. Guys, are we going to hold the base? I feel yes, like I feel like we're going to die here if we stay... Nah, here but we can all them have the flag. Like, we, we fight well, till the end. We fight till the end. With a boom. Yeah. As the Spetnaz guards stood strong on the walls, the Spec Ops started pushing forward in their attempt to siege this base and take the flag. But after struggling to make any progress, they changed their strategy and started rotating around the base in the attempt to use the forest as cover. Actually, let's come through the tree area that, they're, that they kind of burned up a little bit. We should use the golden apples and just do a full charge. And as they regrouped in the trees, 
a random SWAT team member out of nowhere showed them how a real attack should go, as he confidently walked over towards the entrance of the Spetnaz HQ, opened the door, and walked straight inside killing the first guard he saw, who had no idea what just happened. After escaping back out the door, another guard jumped over the wall to try and kill him, but was also killed by this rogue SWAT player that then just ran off into the distance after killing two Spetnaz soldiers, proving to people that confidence is key in these events. And now with two less guards, the Spetnaz soldiers were struggling to cover all sides of this base. But luckily, they had an incredible sniper on the walls helping pick off these attackers in the trees one by one. Wait, I just died instantly. I just got one turn. I got one turn. Yeah, okay. Whoa. This attack by the Spec Ops was exactly what the SWAT leader needed to distract all of the Spetnaz players to the other side of the base as he made a run for the walls. They're all fighting right now. Dude, Make I'm so battle. close to their walls as all this is going down. Oh shit. There's one right here. With the unintentional distraction by the Spec Ops working in the SWAT team's favor, Sokka was able to make his way to the walls and now had only a few blocks between him and the Spetnaz flag. Do it! Do it! Oh. Oh. Eh, 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 eh. Oh my god, you saw that! Back, back, Sokka, back. Come on, man. Just do it, just do it. Run, 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 we just gotta get back to the base. I got it, we just gotta get back to the base. Go, just go. We just gotta get back to the base. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. After an incredible stealth mission from soccer, he managed to grab the flag and run away into the distance with his teammates as the Spetnaz and Spec Ops continued to fight on the other side of the base. You know what? Just run forward, just go. We must go. Wait, <laughs> we just died. What? what just happened? I died. He jumped out no. the wall. Oh my, not the same person. As the Spetnaz soldiers finally took down the last few Spec Ops attackers right outside their walls, the base finally fell silent with no more gunfire, as they thought they had successfully defended from the Spec Ops army. But almost five minutes later, after looting through the bodies and repairing the base, they then realized that the flag had been taken, and by now, it was far too late. Sokka had made his way all the way across the map back towards his base where he was welcomed with open arms with the flag of the Spetnaz army by his team, finishing off their collection of all three flags, crowning the SWAT team as the winners of the Minecraft War simulation and eliminating all remaining enemies. If you think you could take down the SWAT team and join a future force in my Minecraft simulation events, check out my Discord down below. But for now, the SWAT team are the winners.